Okay, bush camping tools here. Well, I just want to comment on something I saw the other day when I was in my local archery shop, and it really looked like, uh, at first I thought it was a bow, then I realized it was this device that you could pull back on, and uh, you know, it was to measuring all sorts of things and increasing bow arm strength and blah, 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 and I thought, to me, it seemed like a bit of a gimmicky thing, and then I had this idea that if you can't get to the range uh, enough, and you want to be able to practice, obviously, you know, you, you can just draw your bow back at infinitum at home and build up, uh, you know, your deltoid muscles here in your arm and your forearm, partly your forearm muscles. If you're, obviously, if you're using fingers to release, you're going to be building up different set of muscles than if you're going to use a release because the release is clamped around your wrist. So you're not exercising your fingers at all there. But if you're releasing with your fingers, you are building up a different set of forearm muscles. We'll talk about those in a minute. But the other thing is uh, that uh, you need to build up, if you're a right-handed shooter like me, so you've got a right-handed bow, obviously you'll draw with your right hand, but you have to hold up the weight of the bow. And the muscles that are going to be uh, in play with that, we'll look at those right now. Right, so let's pretend I'm holding up my bow, and I'll just show you these muscles here in the deltoid region, the deltoid muscles, these should be uh, you know, under use right now when you're holding up your bow. And the other set of muscles, I'll just move there. Can you see that there, cameraman? Are these muscles here in the forearm, okay? These muscles along here in the forearm. These are going to be uh, in use heavily when you need to hold up your bow. So the thing I want to show you is, so I have a weight in my hand. This weight is, uh, it says it's two kilograms. So it's approximately the weight of my bow. It may be a little bit heavier, actually. I can't remember what my bow is exactly off the top of my head. But this, when I'm holding this out like that, you need to be able to hold that weight out for a steady shot. You need to be able to hold it with your left arm, or if you're uh, left-handed, I'm right-handed, so I've got to hold it with my left arm. And these muscles are under tension here, and so are the deltoids up here like this too. Okay, so I've got a weight which approximates the bow, and I'm holding out that weight there. So you could easily, you know, just, I'll just lower this down, and then bring it up like that, and you could exercise the lifting up of the bow like that. But that's only going to exercise uh, one arm, and you should be able to um, hold it like you would your your bow. You could even make a grip on on a, on a weight like that to hold it like that to practice doing that. Because if you can't hold your bow out straight for any length of time, you're not going to be able to you know be steady and you're only going to be shaking like this. Okay, so you need to be able to hold that out straight like that. And two kilograms or so, it may not sound like a large weight, you know, but you know. Uh, you know, if you try holding that out all day like that, you won't be able to do it. Okay, so now I'm going to pretend that I have uh, the bowstring in my hand. And in order to do that, uh, you can use, this is some rubber from uh, the gym, uh, one of these gym shops, and it's used for exercise bands. And you can get it in all sorts of strengths. So I recommend getting in a strength which is not too uh, strong, otherwise you're going to hurt yourself. And, and what you can do is you can simply, you know, just wrap this, around the weight like this, just hold it in the weight like that, and you can grab the other length, which would be at, at a length for your draw weight, where the string would be normally, you know, on, on, before you draw the string, and if you do this, if you just, if you pull this back, and you have this like this, right, can you see that there? So this is my, so I would pretend, and I would go like that, you see? Now you can even change the grip like this, you see. So you've got your bow like you would hold your bow, okay? And that is one way to practice drawing your bow, but you're not drawing your bow, to keep your muscle tone in so you don't damage your arms because you haven't done it for a long time. Let's just have a look at it from the other direction. And of course, if you film yourself, you can see whether your posture is like, if you're like this, right, or you're standing up straight, like this. And really, it's to keep these muscles and these muscles, right, in, in practice, to be able to hold this 
weighed up. So whatever weight your riser is, your, your, sorry, your bow is, what well, is essentially the riser and the limbs, you need to uh, have like a small dumbbell that you can grip. You know, I'd say no one's one is four kilos. That would be like eight pounds. It's too heavy. But of course, obviously, the heavier the thing, if you can practice and work up to that, you can really hold your bow steady for a long time. And it just requires getting your other muscles in here and your forearm muscles tightened up, okay? And again, as I said, it depends if you're releasing with three fingers as opposed to having it around your wrist. If you're not using your fingers, then you've all those muscles connected with your fingers, which attach in here and the back in here, they're not gonna be used as much because you're really pulling on your wrist, right? You're not pulling, you're not exercising those muscles. You're, you, you know, it's just stopping at your wrist, 